love playing the maracas. They're so fun. I wonder what's in them. Sand or rice, probably. Maybe it's little shells? Oh, no, what if it's bones? No, no, bones are too big. But baby bones aren't. No, 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 nobody would kill a bunch of babies for maracas. How would you kill all those babies anyway? I'd probably put them in a tub. You could kill like eight at a time that way. Plus, it softens them up so you can get the bones right out. Joe just had a baby, and I got a baby at home. I got a tub. Peter, you seem off today. Are you thinking about killing infants again? No. Now you gotta kill them, too. Michael Myers. If it seemed like he dead, he ain't dead. Boy, Peter, seems like that obedience school did wonders for Brian. Oh, yeah, it's great. He'll do anything I tell him to now. Maybe I should send Bonnie. <laughs> oh, 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 my. <laughs> All right, somebody say something else. No, you need to know what you did. I want you to sign my chest. And I want to hock a loogie in your face. I want you to sign my ass. And I want to hock a loogie in your face. I want you to autograph my stomach. Okay, fine, but do me a favor. Don't spit on my friend. Hey, Brian, why don't you mind your own business? It gets way up your nose. I want you to resist the urge to levitate off the ground and float towards the pie. Doesn't seem too hard. All right, go stand over there. Ha <laughs> no you don't. No, no, you can't go in there. No, no, stay out of there. That's my special area. Ah, 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 no, stop. I'm saying no. Ah, what kind of pie is this? Peter. It's making me watch. Pete's sake, which has caused outrage with a misogynistic comic. Here's a video of some outrage. Yeah, those boos don't hurt so much because you spent two minutes of the last segment applauding a red velvet cake. And if that's not bad enough, this morning's cartoon is even worse. Let's put that up. There was a hit and run by a drunk driver today at Quahog Park. Two children are missing. <gasps> I was just there. Come on, come on in. Your family's waiting in here. There are toys and a puppy and food that's not served from warming trays. <laughs> come on, you gotta want it. Oh, you gotta do better than that. Okay, I guess you don't want a new family, toys and a puppy. <laughs> He has you dive for rings? Well, this is like that, except it's a pill, and it's not okay if you don't get it. Ah, damn you! Come on! Come on, you just touched it! What's all the yelling? Oh, my God, Lois, what are you doing? <laughs> First, there wasn't enough. Mr. Griffin, do you really think this is an appropriate cartoon to run on Gloria Steinem's half-birthday? You sound angry. Did one of your friends get engaged? You have no idea how offensive you are to women, do you? What? I love women. I bet I can name more porn stars than you. But, but don't tell my wife how many porn stars I know. I'll get in a lot of trouble. I know all of them, though. There are people who just started an hour ago, and I know them. It worked! Gracias. What are my powers? Oh, yeah. It's weird. You're, like, really good at painting my living room. Up, up, and get it done by Saturday. We're having a party. You can't leave him alone. Come on, it's good to have some alone time. You know, I spent a year alone on a desert island with nothing but a monkey to keep me company. You're saved, sir. We're gonna get you back to civilization. And how about we bring along your monkey pal? Okay. Yeah, we can teach him sign language, and he can tell us stories about what you two did on the island together. No, 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 let's, let's not, let's not bring the monkey. I can't dissect this pig, Mr. Kingman. It's against my religion. Believe me, Neil, it's no thrill for the pig to touch a Jew either. Hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. No, my mom says I shouldn't. <laughs> hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. Okay. Specials, but first, I need to tell you, I'm gay. The hell you are! No waiter of mine is gonna be gay! He's the only waiter we have. Lois, our waiter is dead to us. 
We have to focus all our attention on our hostess now. <laughs> I love you, She-Hulk. All right, son, I'm gonna need those two hams back. I don't have any hams. Lift up your shirt, son. I need an adult! I need an adult! You're not a shoplifter. You're just a fat kid. <laughs> Sorry about that, fatty, fat, fatty. Hey, Tom, he's just a fat kid! Aren't you fatty? He's a big... Jeez, I'm really sorry, Carter. But at least you have your health. <coughs> oh. You know, this is your fault. You're the one who said I should do it. Mm-hmm. There's that judginess Babs is always calling me and talking about. Look, nobody steals from Carter Pewterschmidt. I am going to Africa and get my money back. And you're coming with me. Africa? We're going to Africa? I wonder if it will change us. But of course, it did change us. I've been working here for 50 years pretending I'm a woman. Do you ever regret not having children, Mother Bernadette? Oh, I've had many children. Wow, I really messed up. I haven't felt this bad since I drove by that speed sign. Well, we figured you'd say no to us, but not to Vice President Joe Biden! Oh my God! Mr. Vice President! First, I want to thank you, Vic, for shooting the guy we said was Osama bin Laden. Second, give these kids their dog back. Of course, sir. I'm so sorry. Here, take him. Thank you. You're a great American. Thanks, Mr. Biden! No problem. Hey, you guys watch Veep? No. Yeah, it's all fake. Yet we said no. Wow, Karen, nice to meet you. I'm Glenn Quagmire. I didn't know Peter even had a sister. What are you, ashamed of me, Chin Nuts? Oh my god, his chin kind of does look like nuts. Ha <laughs> ha! I never noticed that! How could you not notice it? Watch this! I'll, I'll, I'll punch him in the nuts! <clears throat> yeah, that's sort of clever. All right, check it out, Barney. This is how we're gonna fool Joe's dad. Oh my god! Yeah, looks real, right? I put this pair of pants on the front legs of this horse and strapped Joe to the front with his legs tied behind the horse's neck. And then we put Cinnamon's head up the back of Joe's shirt and simply hid the rest of the horse behind this curtain. <laughs> his breath is very moist, Peter. And to induce movement, I'm going to snap the horse's balls with this dampened kitchen towel. Ah, oh, my God! Holy crap, he's out of control! Doesn't look real! Ah! Plan B! Plan B! I'm so happy you all could make it tonight. We will have many things you will nibble at and not eat. Then I will give you a pizza. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Hey, can we watch that last episode of Winter Summer now? We will watch together after dinner. In the meantime, feel free to watch Korean pop videos. What is this, and how can I make the rest of my life about it? All right, Peter, almost done. Ah. <coughs> huh? Eh? Uh, kind of. Yeah. I don't care. Peter, I don't know about this. It seems like a bad idea. Look, Lois, Joe is one of my best friends. All right? I'm only doing this to help him. Besides, wait till you hear my Joe voice. Uh, God, I hate being stuck in this chair. No, Peter, that fights it. I'm afraid his behavior has been an issue for a while. He's even been bothering students during nap time. Hey, you up? Guess where I have a crayon. Dewey, you want to check out the go-kart I used in Days of Thunder? Yeah, listen, um, I just found out I'm actually going to be tall, so I'm no longer comfortable hanging out with someone whose teeth are bigger than their fingers. What? That's, that's barely true. Yeah, so, see you later. You are making a big mistake, Stewie. Nobody walks away from Tiny Tom Cruise! Yeah, except for all three of your wives. Okay, I'm shutting this now. Okay, so, bye! 
There you two are. Sit down and join us. I can't stay, Mom. Brian's showing me all of his favorite stuff to do. Getting spooked when the furnace goes on? We're participating in an autism walk. Looks like you're doing it right now. And we may be gone for a while, because after that, we're going down to the Civic Center. Michael Ian Black is cocking his eyebrows for four hours. <laughs> he says the things we don't care to say. Bye! Man, I'm sick of how much time Chris is spending with Brian. Probably smooching pickles, because they're a couple of pickle smooches. <clears throat> oh, come on. I don't want to have to watch this. Yeah, that's right. I was the only one who didn't get to meet Biden. Uh, you know what? Screw this. I'm out of here. Hey, where do you think you're going? You're my dog. You're not going anywhere. Besides, I need you, boy. Now more than ever, I think my wife is cheating on me. Hey, Tori, it's Brian. I'm getting the Chinese food for us. I think I'm gonna order some me-like bang ho. <laughs> that's, that's not a real thing. I'm talking about sex. All right, I'll be there in five. Chris, Chris Griffin. Griffin. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Chris Griffin, a tubby spaz with a heart full of dreams, gets to feel normal for a night, thanks to the kindness of his peers. Oh. I just see him walking around with his hands down his pants all day, and he's just so fat and weird, so we feel bad. Yeah, last year we did the Burnt Up Kid, so this was a slam dunk. Oh my god, they just elected him out of pity because they think he's mentally challenged. Kind of like we did with George W. Bush, huh? <laughs> right? <sighs> I, I guess. I guess, Brian. I, I, don't, I don't know. Let's, let's just watch some commercials. Thanks, Tom. Yes, quite an ordeal for Quahog's Peter Griffin. So, Mr. Griffin, you were going around in circles for 12 hours. Are you suffering any ill effects from the centrifugal force? The wind on my skin is like knives. Oh, my God, Bonnie, are you watching the news right now? Yes, I'm so sorry about Peter. Oh, I'm sure he'll be fine. But did you see that sweet new piece of ass, Dallas Portland? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you ask my index and middle finger? I thought this was a recovery day. No days off, bro. You know, this is a great house for a party. You can invite the whole class. I say, that's a brilliant idea. What the hell are you doing? Relax, these people are gone for a few more days. I'll invite everyone over and impress the whole class in one shot. That'll cover my play dates for a year. You really think that'll work? Absolutely. And when it does, I'll be as popular as the first kid in school to get his driver's license. Hey, heard you got your license. Maybe after school you could take me to get some groceries. Yeah, or maybe you and me hop in that car of yours and do some grocery shopping. Looks like you have a roomy back seat. I'd love to fill that with groceries after school. Hey, it's Stewie. All I know about cars is what my mom does. All right, if we want to get Cleveland back, we should just put out his favorite snack, an open can of tuna. Often he'll come running when he hears a can opening. Peter, stop. Yeah, I think it's time we address the elephant in the room. There's a simple reason Cleveland is hanging out with Jerome and not us. Jerome is black, and we're not. Yeah, I mean, you can't blame them. It's just a thing they have in common. Something they can bond over. Well, I guess that makes sense. I suppose people do want to be with their own kind. Like the audience at a Decemberists concert. Good evening, white guys who weigh less than their girlfriends! Hey, Brian. I, uh... I know that things have been awkward between us, but just to show you there's no hard feelings. Can I buy you a drink? You know what? Sure. Thanks. Oh. What the hell happened? Ah! How do I walk? Are these forever? I also rubbed my butt on you while you were unconscious. I like to put stuff online. <laughs> All right, Peter, that's enough. It is time to get out of... What the hell? Oh, yeah, we put Joe in Stewie's old jolly jumper. You told me this was a paratrooper's harness. Shut up, baby man. That's it. This is our home, not some frat house for you and your friends. Now, I want you out of this attic now. No way. We ain't leaving. We're having too much fun up here. Quagmire just showed us his Eric McCormick impression. There could be no such thing. Well, that's what I said, but then he did it, and I was like, oh, all right, okay, yeah, kind of. Fine. You like the damn attic so much? Then enjoy the attic! Did... Did she just lock us in here? It looks like it. Guys, yeah, spin me back. I didn't see what happened. 
And East Coast welcome to the newest bull rider, Peter the Kid. <laughs> You know what I am back at the ranch? I'm a breeding bull. What, 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 what's that? You gonna find out. Huh? Where you going, fatty? We gonna have a party. <laughs> what do you want, Griffin? Angela, look out your window. You see that Anheuser-Busch billboard next to the children's hospital? Well, watch this. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This is horrible. Oh, God. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, good Lord. Save them. Bless their li Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Everything worked out. I got a house on the Cape. Maybe you come visit. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe you call a few days in advance to give me time to get the house clean. Okay. Maybe you bring a blazer so we can go to a wider range of restaurants. I'll, I'll bring a blazer. Okay, kids, we're gonna start practice as soon as I get that guy out of here. I'm 60 yards away! <sighs> Alright, I, I guess if a loose ball goes over there, just don't go. Careful, who you get involved with romantically. Hello? I'm in the mood for some coitus. Get over here. I can't, I'm with my family. Pick up wine on the way. Well, Angela, if I'm really the only guy at work who can solve it, I'll be right there. Ah, <sighs> it's another pleasant day for me, Peter the Strawberry. Hey, Mr. Worm. I welcome your arrival, because we're all part of the same garden. Wait, wait, what are you... Oh, hey, wait, hey. Hey, get out of here. Hey. Ah, 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 ah. He was my neighbor, and he violated me. Now I'll never end up in a fancy pie. Coward, I have found you. Yeah. Oh my god, Stewie, you okay? Quick, somebody call an ambulance. This could need stitches. We don't want this to leave a scar. No, there's no time for an ambulance. We gotta take him to the hospital right away. Guys, I'm all right. I, I think Meg... Oh my god, he's delirious. He's talking nonsense. Quick, everybody in the car! It's my job. I lost my house. My wife left me for a bigger cock. You get five minutes to say goodbye to your father. Sup, Bernie? Holy moly, that's a huge cock. Let's get this stuff out fast, guys. These people have nothing. All right, everybody gets a hot dog toaster and a special zigzag brownie pan so that every brownie you bake has a chewy edge. We got 300,000 Harlequin costumes and 500,000 sets of stairs that a dog can use to get up on a bed. Well, looking around, I can see everybody looks kind of thirsty, so each of you gets a Crash Bandicoot video game. All right, I'll see you guys next month, because I got a shipment coming in of those realistic testicles you hang off the back of your truck. Lois, I know how many beers I can drink and still be able to drive. I figured it out. Seven. Six. Peter babysat for the neighbor's kid. All right, uh, I couldn't find your toys, so uh, why don't you just play with this blow dryer and these rattles? Well, guess that's it. Well, you probably want me to get out of your hair, so, uh, here's the Drano, in case there's a clog. Uh, soap's right there next to the radio, and towels are on the roof. So, uh, good night. Hey, on LeVar Burton's visor. Ah! Ah! Why would he wear these? Who would invent these for him? Listen, Tiffany, you seem really great, and I need to come clean with you about something, because... Well, if I don't, there's two guys who are gonna tell you anyway. I have herpes. Really? Yeah. Well, that's okay. I mean, if we're careful about it, it shouldn't be an issue. And the truth is, I like you so much, I'd do anything to make this work. Oh my god, I'm so happy to hear that. I, I, I feel the same way. Oh, Tiffany, you know, you know, I know this is crazy and, like, super sudden, but... Will you... You're gonna die alone, you dick! Okay, fine. But you should know, the day I bought this metal detector was the happiest day of my life. Well, obviously the second happiest. Oh my god, I wasn't even supposed to be here. I passed out at the Tom Petty concert last night and just stayed. You're gonna open my door And I'm gonna reach over and Take me to see a movie And whisper in my ear that you really wanna do me 
Please go slow. I have IBS. Big whoop, I can do that. Oh my god, Erica! You killed Erica! Fantastic. Stewie, I really am sorry about what happened. Oh, don't mention it. I'm just glad to have the whole mess behind us. So what'd you end up doing with those old robots anyway? Well, I just left them out on the curb for the trash man. How can this not be a trap? Sweet. Which movie should I start with? Backdoor Sluts 4. Eh, I haven't seen the first three. I wouldn't know what's going on. Here we go. I want to watch all of these movies non-stop. I don't want to watch any more of these movies ever. What will you be having, sir? Yes, I'll have what I had last time, pheasant on the glass. Don't you mean pheasant under glass? Nope. <coughs> yeah, now turn around and lay an egg on the glass. Ah, oh, yeah. I defy you to tell me exactly what's wrong with this. Holy moly, Marcy Miller! She bought feminine products at my dad's pharmacy, so you know she's up and running. Yeah, I wish I had the guts to talk to her. Talk to her? Chris, no one talks to each other anymore. If you want to get a girl's attention, you text her a picture of your penis. What? Really? Are, are you sure? Oh, yeah. People who send their daughters to public high schools are basically asking for this. Well, I did just get this new phone from my dad. All right. What could go wrong? It worked out great for... <laughs> Out. What? Your ball was long. Are you me? That thing was in. You're gonna penalize us because you're a blind blue jacket. Stewie, calm down. I will drop you to your knees and shove my racket so far down your throat you'll be my grip for a week. Warning, Mr. Griffin. Oh, you're warning me? I'm warning you. I'm gonna go to your house and your wife. You proud of yourself? Tennis club security guard? Your kids look up to you? Big man throwing out a baby and a dog. Tough guy. Maybe I'll see you later when you don't have that name tag on. I thought your shot was in. Oh, hey, pound it, dude. African warlord is brutalizing those innocent people. Yeah, but it's okay because he's wearing a large cowboy hat and follows everything with hamburger like that stand-up comic from the 90s. We are going to force all these young boys to be child soldiers. Hamburger. <laughs> After 18 hours in the mines, we are going to check your butts for diamonds. Hamburger. <laughs> I get it. If you do not work on my rubber plantation, I will burn your tongues. Oh my god. Hamburger. <laughs> ah, I found him. Alonzo Hamburger Jones. He made it to YouTube. Must be filthy rich. Hey, before you two leave, let's take a photo. Yeah, selfie. <laughs> I just learned that word. Perfect. Stewie, three more Arnold Palmers. Boy, we're destroying them at the right time, Brian. I don't have enough iced tea for the correct ratio. It'll be too lemonade -y. They'll be furious. All right, so let's do it. Let's take them out. I'll warn you, it's not going to be easy. They're incredibly intelligent and getting smarter by the minute. I designed them to be constantly adapting. It's done. I sprayed them with the hose. Ashley, wait! <laughs> I wouldn't miss this for all the rush hour fares in Big Town. Chris, you came! Oh, my God! Let me get my grandma. Chris? Ashley, I love you! <laughs> oh, you're groaning at me? You paid $19 to fly Spirit Air. You get what you get. Now your arm is broken and your baseball career is over. Not necessarily. What? What are you talking about? 
Well, for the last few weeks, since my right arm's been exhausted from pitching, my left arm's had to, uh, pick up the slack in the bathroom. <laughs> You see that barbell over there? Go ahead and try and lift that. Uh-oh, Spadudios. Oh, your kid just needs a little help. I got something that'll get him going. Hello, family. Uh, Let's see that little dyke Susie Swanson beat him up now. Wait a minute, how do you know she's gay? Short haircut, stubby legs, doesn't respond to my advances. Why? Do we look like this? Well, I took him to the gym, and the colorful gent there advised me that I put him on steroids. Ah! Ooh, I am hotter than phone sex with a blind girl. You sound hot. What are you wearing? I don't know. Hey, what the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is there a problem? Huh? You won't go? You won't go? Oh, uh, where do you think you're going? I'm going downstairs. Oh, there's a toll in the hall now. Ten bucks. Look, can I... Uh, look, up. Uh, you... Uh, can I... Uh, I'm just messing with you, man. You can do whatever you want. I was just kidding you. Why are you so serious? Ah, another day of being huge. Good morning, guns of Navarro. <gasps> what's happening? I'll tell you what's happening. Your steroids have worn off. And guess what? There's a toll in the hall now. Stay away from me. Stewie, no! And now, here's something we hope you'll really like. I flew today. Come on, I know it seems hard, but we can't just give up. I mean, what if Thomas Edison had given up? Uh, what's that? W what's that thing you're working on? Well, it's a light bulb and... A light bulb! Light bulb! Yeah, I invented that! Me! I'm Thomas Edison! I invented the light bulb! Uh, what to do? It lights up a room using electrical... Lights up a room using electrical stuff! I was about to say that because I invented it! Uh, what are you working on? It's a phonograph. Phonograph! That... I knew that because I invented it. I'm Thomas Edison. I rule! Look it up. Edison was a dick. <laughs> what are you doing up here? I need you to take the trash out. You know what? I'm going to use this Peter doesn't have to take out the trash coupon that I got for my anniversary. You gave that to yourself. I don't know. It says official. Forget it. I'll do it myself. This whole attic business is ridiculous. Hey, guys. Check it out. I'm a lady. Joe, you hit a home run with that. I want to try it. Bonnie? Joe? How did you find me? Love is a powerful compass. Anytime I quiet my mind and clear my heart, it always leads me to you. Plus, Dirtbag here has a chip in his ear. I do? Damn it, no wonder Peter's so good at hide-and-seek. You're under the canoe in Quagmire's yard. Son of a bitch! Gretchen? Wow, you look great! Yeah, I didn't have kids. Oh, yeah, of course. But what the hell are you doing here? I haven't seen you in 20 years! Peter, I finally got your letter. You know, the one where you said that you were having doubts about marrying Lois, and you still had thoughts about marrying me? Gretchen, I wrote that a long time ago. Well, my answer is yes, Peter. Yes, I will marry you! Gretchen, I am already happily, uh, moderately hap- uh, relative- I am- I am married. Oh, then I suppose your wife is entitled to know that you were still in love with me just days before your wedding. <gasps> Blackmail! Thank you, Cleveland. And I don't know what to call the thing you're doing to me, lady. Well, I've looked everywhere. Maybe she left. Paul Blatt, if you're out there, I could sure use a miracle. Choo-choo! All aboard the Ladybug Express! But be careful, Peter. If this train slows to less than 50 miles an hour, then Sandra Bullock has to marry a neo-Nazi and act like she didn't know about it, and then overcompensate by adopting a black kid. Ah! Help! Ah! Help! Ah! Holy crap! Ah! Well, he obviously doesn't know it's just a pity vote. In fact, this whole homecoming king thing seems to have just gone straight to his head. I know, he's acting like an arrogant jerk. 
quiet, Rupert. It is an honor to serve the king in this manner. Brian, this can't go on. Chris is out of control. He's even more arrogant than an actor, writer, director. Well, my script is brilliant and I'm a great director. The question is, how bad do I want this part? <laughs> okay, I'll do it. We finally made it, Brian. We're in India. Excuse me, man with no pupil? Where can we get a taxi cab around here? All right, let's do it, Stewie. Let's go find Padma. Shouldn't be hard in this dreamy land of wonder. I can already smell the enlightenment and tranquility. <laughs> This is wonderful, isn't it, Brian? It's so tranquil, I'm tearing up. Come on, I think I see a cab with less than nine people in it. Lois! 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 Is your wife named Lois, too? No, but I figured if she's banging a guy like you, I got a shot. Lois! Hey, what are you... Lois! 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 And what's this giant, empty, football stadium-sized room? Oh, the post office anticipates that within the next five years, at least 200 million men in this country will be ordering and receiving real dolls. Every man will have seven to nine real dolls. Asians, blonde southern girls, blonde Asians capable of performing every possible sexual act, or at least incapable of refusing. You can put one in your car and drive in the carpool lane with it, and then maybe you push your head down, thus defeating the purpose of the carpool lane while fulfilling the purpose of the real doll. Maybe a trucker goes by. You say, hey, Janine, give him a show. Maybe later you ask yourself some tough questions like, why is it so important to you to impress and excite truckers? Anywho, grab that letter opener. I'm going to show you why you should never mail cash. Oh, thank God. Because just sitting here all sober is more boring than watching a pot boil. Hey, you. What are you doing? I like to watch. I want to watch you boil. I can't do it with you watching. Oh, not even if I do this? Don't do that. Oh, God, it's so hot. Oh, yeah? Then why don't I take your top off? Oh, oh, I'm boiling. I'm boiling. Yeah, now I'm going to stick my raw pasta in you. Peter, what's going on in there? Making dinner, babe. Chris, your mother and I want you to stop taking them pills. There's a lot of great things about having a sex drive that you're missing out on. Like what? Well, there's the post-orgy meals at a swingers party. Come on, let's eat with these wonderful people. Hey, everybody. Try my wife's ambrosia. If you like my wife's sniz, you're gonna love her ambrosia. I was thinking about this seven-layer dip the whole time I was chowing Ronald. I don't like this. I want to go home. You know what's sad? There's hardly any other fathers and sons here. Wow, you're really obsessed with Patty. You want her even more than I wanted the new iPhone. How's it going? Good, just looking forward to getting that new phone. What are you talking about? This isn't the Apple Store. This is a super gay club. Yeah, right. I leave and you get my phone. Nice try, cutie pie. And here's a trick to keep that confidence up. You go in that room and imagine everyone in it wants you sexually. I'm doing it right now. And I feel powerful. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go psych out these other kids. Hey, little guy. Nervous? Sure, yeah. Here's something that might help you. <coughs> hey, little guy. Stewie Griffin? Oh, right here. Peter, he needs a boost. Give him some of the acting soup. I want to say curse words! Okay, Stewie, you're just going to drink this juice, then say, mmm, and rub your belly. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah, bye, juice! That was amazing. I've got goosebumps. I want him sexually. Whoa, 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 no TV for you, Chris. TV is how stupid losers spend their time. Peter, what is this all about? I'm trying to save our son, Lois. I don't want him to end up like me. Dead-end job, crappy house, aging wife who's getting skinny where fat's supposed to be and fat where skinny's supposed to be. Ha! Mag, go to your room.
You have reached Glenn Quagmire. Neither he nor his assistant is available. To schedule a liaison, press 1. To cancel a liaison, press 2. If you're calling to report a pregnancy, please fill out our online form and we will mail you a check for $180. Thank you and have a giggity day. Chris, this is your mother. Get these dildos out of the dishwasher. Hey, Peter, can I ask you something? You're not just hanging out with me because I, I can buy you alcohol, right? What? Of course not. We're friends. Yeah, no, I, I know. That's, that's, that's what I thought. And also, you bring me dead birds. I know Lois gets mad about it, but I like using them to point at things. Hey, did they move the bagels? Yeah, they're right there. Oh my god, what the hell is that? This? This is a pointing bird. Not all snake bites are lethal. There! You happy? You were too late. We pooed on the gown. Ripped a big hole in your ceiling, too. I barfed on Peter's ass. I, I don't know if it got on the dress or not, Lois, but I, I, am, I am so sorry. Yeah, this was all a huge disaster. Let's just agree that we both went a bit too far, hmm? I, uh, I might, I might need two weeks off from this friendship. Ooh, a text! I'm taking care of our problem. We'll be together soon. Love, Gretchen. Huh. Meg, you're kind of a loner, psychopath. What does this mean? Oh, this woman is clearly a spurned lover who's planning to kill Mom. Ah, thank you. Yeah! You're a good dog, Meg. Yeah! Why are we at a health food store? Well, we gotta get that ring out of you. And this is a place where people buy disgusting cereals to help them poop. Well, which one should we buy? I don't know, let's ask. Are there any gray-haired lesbian art teachers who can help us select a fiber cereal? This won't take long. We know your large dogs are tied up outside. <laughs> There's too many of them. We've got to start a chant so they'll file out into the street. All sex is rape! All sex is rape! All sex is rape! All sex is rape! When I first joined this cause, I was just trying to get this guy to poop. But now, we're this close to getting sex outlawed in the United States. <laughs> You guys don't know what you're talking about. Tonight, when they put that crown on my head, it's gonna be the greatest night of my life. Even better than when I had my first kiss. All right, I gotta get through this. I'm just gonna go to my happy place. Go to your happy place, Peter. And you're wearing the necklace I gave you! Well, if I were you, I'd sure be excited. You're only one number away from having a bingo. I am? Wait, you mean if they call... O-74. <gasps> bingo! <laughs> you were right, Joe. This is awesome. I never won anything. Well, except for when I won that Tory spelling bee. Peter, your word is equine. Peter reached this round by accurately spelling collagen, repulsive, and botched. We now return to the extended director's cut of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Charlie, don't forget what happened to the boy who got everything he ever wanted. What? He lived happily ever after, but he did have to earn it. Hint, hint. Do it, Charlie! I'm not going back to that four-person bed! Hell, I'll do it if you want! No, it has to be a child! What did he just say? Brian, this does not seem appropriate to watch in front of the baby. Not appropriate? You took me to see Magic Mike XXL. Yep, this one's wet. Uh, this one, too. Also wet. Huh, this one's dry, but the back of the seat in front of it is wet. Wow, can I have a turn? Hey, which one of you threw that apple at my car? He did it. He dragged me out here. I wanted to be in school, sir. Where'd you get a cannon like that, kid? I work out my right arm three times a day. Mm, free weights? No, mostly JPEGs of Helen Hunt on my hard drive. How did you get a hernia? Actually, I got it performing an incredible act of heroism. Oh my god! Somebody help me! I'm sinking! <laughs> Hurry! I can't hold it! Okay, let me just unstrap my baby! Oh, 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 slipping, slipping, sorry!
We now return to Doctor Who Farted. Doctor, the alien attack has begun. We've got to return to the 21st century. Uh, we can't go into the time machine right now. But they're going to kill us all! All right, all right, just one second. So, how was your weekend? Well, I, I should probably say no, but I've never been known for my good judgment. I mean, that's how I got into trouble with the PETA catcher. Oh, Peter! Come and get your lollipops! Lollipops! Come along, Peter! Peter, you mustn't! I've got cream pies! Trinkle tarts! Trinkle tarts! <laughs> 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 I'm going to get so molested. No one may meet the king's gaze! So, uh, hey, congratulations again on that, uh, homecoming thing. Why congratulate me on a right and natural turn of events? Now, if you'll excuse me, I shall select three things from Stewie's room that I wish to be mine. There's a book in there on how to eat healthy. Why don't you take that, you fat bitch? Oh, you are a writer? Are you famous? By choice, no. No, sometimes fame brings a lot of unwanted attention. I mean, look at William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare! Hi. Nice collar, you fruit! Thank ye. Hey, Shakespeare, what's the title of your next play? You should call it Homosexual Collar Guy. Ah, by Japes and Jabs Cut Me to the Quick, Squire. What does that even mean? I know. It means I use this collar as a bib for when I service guys. Thank ye. Thank ye. So, how'd you like the collar? Tis not for me. Oh my god, Peter, our dishwasher is full of sex toys. Oh yeah, Chris put those in there. It's for his job. He's working for Quagmire now. He's washing sex toys for Quagmire? Not just that, he also takes pictures of Quagmire's genitals to track sore growth. So brace yourself when you open iPhoto. It's on the Griffin family account. Peter, my parents have access to that. What's wrong with this worm? What do you mean Chris won't take a dive? We already took a ton of bets! Look, I'm sorry, you guys, but my hot piece of ass wife says no way. That's a weird time to brag about your wife, Peter. I don't know, I've just been so horny today. Oh, man, I don't need to know that. Well, pull it together, Peter, because we're about to lose a lot of money. Well, you guys are creeping me out. All right, I'm going to exit while discreetly checking out the hot chick by the door. Hey, baby, you want to party? Get in. You guys having a good night? I like that it's getting dark earlier. Big Pete, help! She wants to do German things! German things! What? No! He hasn't eaten anything in days! It's not gonna work! Nine! Nine! Ah, she's got us both! Help us, pimps and hoes! Help us, HBO camera crew! Dad refuses to interact with any actors on set. He'll only rehearse with helium balloons with crudely drawn faces on them. I'm sorry, Meg, but you're grounded. But, Dad, the prom is tonight. Over. You heard your father, Meg. Over. Peter, you ready to hit the drunken clam? Over. It's difficult having to give up my chair for the balloon, but that's the business we call show. Excuse me, Joe. <laughs> Good morning. I'm your instructor, Cody Spraytan. Are you ready to pedal so hard your periods go away? Yes, it's not healthy, but it's convenient. Now we're going to sprint while I tell a distracting personal story about how I almost met Adam Levine.
It's 2016. It's Vegas. I'm coming off a horrible breakup. First pool party in, I see who I think is a dirty man with tattoos, and I'm like, ugh. But then I'm like, oh, wait a minute. And I've learned that every office needs a worst employee that all the other employees can look down on. I can be that. I can be that guy. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hey, hey, Francesca Louise Alessandro. Good news. I found your Instagram. Did you see the 90 photos I liked in a row last night at 2 a.m.? Also, who's at Becky Fitness 96? And can you tell her to unblock me? Holy crap. This place is amazing. And just think, this is where Helen Kelly used to eat when she went here. Tonight, I want to go out and just get wasted. And not one of these campus bars. I want to get wrecked by a townie. Helen, you're outrageous. I can't believe you're getting away with this. I've been getting away with this since I was seven. Believe me, I know what I'm doing. Good morning, girls. Helen? <laughs> I got you dropped from jury duty. Oh, great. What line did you use? I have read about this exact case. That's good. On hotsytotsynazi.com. That's not good. Hey, can robots do cocaine? What? Nothing. I was just, you know. Can they get cocaine? Whoa, check it out. A sorry board game. Let me see it. Three pieces missing. How'd you do that? I can shake anything and figure out what all's in there. You got 11 periods left. All right, time to retrieve my big wheel from Garbage Island. Let's do it. Hey, how'd you get the money to rent this boat anyway? Oh, I got a part-time job at Target. Okay, technically, I work at the weird in-store pizza hut. The Target in-store pizza hut. Feed it to your fat kid while you buy off-brand tennis shoes. Cleveland, you agree with me, right? Well, my wife and I do yoga, so I don't have to pick a side. Fine, we're leaving in a huff. Cleveland, you leaving? Nah, I must stay. Hey, so can I meet your wife? Now she's playing with her trains. There's tension in our relationship, but I can't say why. Why? I can't say. I can't believe we're doing Big Little Lies and I'm the train guy. No going down head first and wait till I say it's okay. Go. 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 Hey! I'm gaining on you, Brian! Meg, slow down! You're coming way too fast! Ew, Brian, what happened? I don't know. Hey, idiot, you gotta wait till the guy says go. Oh, my voodoo doll of mom. Yeah, totally throw, it never worked anyway. Ow, what the hell was that? Oh, keep. Ah! Wait a minute, since there's two of us, this means we can finally catch our own tail. I got it! No, I got it! No, I got it! I got it! There they are! Get them! Brian, we've got to get out of here. Oh, Stewie, my hero. Not now, babe. The war. Yeah! Awesome. Peter, will you keep it down? I'm trying to look at lamps I'll never buy. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sweet. What are you doing? Well, I just found out about these things called apps, so that's kind of all I do now. This one's a cool bowling app I got. Oh, yeah, strike! Peter, your phone's streaming to the TV. You're clearly watching porn. Will you turn it off? I'm already caught, Lois. I'm gonna finish. Peter, I'm... I'm gonna finish! Just go over there! We're gonna be fine, Lois, you and me. This stuff ain't that hot. Oh, I feel like I'm crying, but, like, out of my neck and back. Oh, look at his face. He looks like Oliver Platt climbing a flight of stairs. Hey, that's a low blow. I'm going to call the network and complain. Where's the phone? It's upstairs, Oliver. Yeah, they know what they did. <sighs>
Couch it is, I guess. Oh, my God, the couch is gone. Where the hell is... Oh, that's right, Couchella is this weekend. Hey, man, where you been? I just had sex with a girl on her period. Dude, that's not a brag. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. This could never work. Like porn movies before sound. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh. God, I like it here. But what am I doing? I don't have a fancy house. I'm living a lie, like FDR. And so I say to you, America, we are going to win this war. We're going to end this depression. And there's no reason to suspect that I cannot walk. God bless America. And cut! The newsreel's over. Thank you, Mr. President. You're welcome, gentlemen. Now, if you'd kindly kick me into the closet with the mops. Ah, must be a yell man. Shut up. Huh, got a new email here. And it's from a Nigerian prince. It says he's got millions frozen in an account. All he needs is a hundred grand to pay legal fees, and then as soon as he gets his money, I get a million bucks. Wow, and he must need it quick, because there was like a bazillion typos in that email. You gotta send that money. You think so? Absolutely. I mean, can you imagine if you make a million bucks? You'll be happier than the guy on his wedding day. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, free time. Farewell, sex. So long, golf on TV. I'll miss you, privacy. Goodbye being honest about how many beers I've had. Nice knowing you, my own choices. See you later, money. Lois? Oh, no. I'm alone and lost in the mall. I haven't been this scared since the silence of the lamb. Hey, um, let's move in together. Say something! And I turn around, and I don't know what happened to my wife, and now I'm all alone, and I'm just so scared. Okay, do you want to go look for your wife, or you want me to finish the makeover? I guess we might as well finish up here. When I find her, I want her to go, wow. Oh, that must be Jerome. What the hell's Jerome doing here? We didn't order any drinks. No, he and I got plans. We're gonna go down to Carver High School and look at that mural of black achievement. Hmm, they got a manila folder taped over Dr. Cosby's face. What? Cleveland, you didn't tell us you had plans with Jerome. Some things are my- No, uh, this mattress was expensive and I'd like to keep it nice for a little while. Are you serious? We can't do it? For how long? I don't know. Let let's just keep it new for a few weeks. A few weeks? Oh, come on, you know I'm terrible at waiting for things. We'll be right back with more Laverne and Shirley. But I want it now! I can't believe you. I thought you were this worldly, sophisticated guy, but you're just a fraud, like Moses. And the Lord's 11th commandment, Moses gets to be first in line at the buffet. What? Oh, seriously? I know, you guys, it's so lame, but that's what it says. Oh, crap. My husband's home early. Wait a minute, you're married? And he's here? Now? Yeah, that's him. You've got to get out of here. He's really jealous. I think he's bitter because he never got the credit he deserved for killing Osama bin Laden. Your husband's a Navy SEAL? <gasps> what the hell is going on here? What is this? Ruff. You got a dog? Uh, yeah. I rescued him from the pound. Roar, 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 roar. Well, hey there, buddy. Wow, his nose is super wet. He must be healthy. Oh, and somebody's been rooting in a sardine can. Well, I'm gonna grab a shower. Great, honey. Oh. Hey, Lois, check out what I found with my metal detector. Are those, are those purple hearts? Yeah, some idiot buried like a hundred of them in this big lawn under these bone cages. Peter! You desecrated a military graveyard. Hey, guys, like four Jeeps just drove up onto our front yard. Oh, they must be here for the medals. Maybe. Or it could be because of my I'm gonna barf on the White House blog. <whistles> ah, sweet! Huh. Wonder what happens if I turn it on and point them at each other. <whistles> oh, my God! Did you also call into a talk show without turning down your radio first? Ah, 
My word, Brian, you're really improving. We might actually win this thing. Thanks. And I just pretend that tennis ball is Mitch McConnell trying to roll back subsidies on the Affordable Care Act, and I'm like, nope. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to hear your process. Look, I'm just happy you pushed me, because now I can't wait for that tournament. I know, it's going to be great. And I already know exactly where I'm going to put that trophy. So the baby died? Yeah, the baby died. But look, first place. Lois, let us out of here. No way. You like it so much, and you can rot up there with your buddies. Lois, so help me God, if you don't let us out right this second, I'm going to take a dump on your wedding dress. You wouldn't dare. Don't test me. I'll do it. We'll all do it. Quagmire, pull down your pants. What? I'm not doing that. You'll leave my dress alone, Peter. If it'll get us out of here, I'll make a duty on it. What are you, nuts? I've been crowning for six hours. Cleveland's pants are off, Lois. Here come mine. This is happening. Lois, they're not bluffing. Open the door. I miss Bonnie. Damn it, Peter, you hold that in. I know you can. You did it on the ferry to Block Island. Oh, my God, I'm gonna puke. That's good. Puke on the dress. Puke on the dress. Ah, oh, damn it. What are you doing here? Quagmire, uh-oh, uh, uh, I have a hobby that takes me this way. Hey, I'm freezing. You got a blanket in there or something? I got a towel, but it's wet because I'm eating peaches. I lied about the hobby. I was sinning. I'm going to drive away backwards now. Now, I, I understand the show was quite different when it started. Yeah, in the original pilot, I was actually the star. It was called Chris Griffin, Teen Doctor. Sir, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Well, it can't be any worse than what's in here. <laughs> I ad-libbed that line. I wasn't even supposed to talk. What they didn't know is that I'd been privately doing jokes about the newspaper for years. Peter, I need you to take Chris and Meg to school. Today's the day I finally kill that squirrel that's been eating our tomatoes. Try to get like eight of them this time. I want to make bruschetta. Oh, can't the kids just walk? You know I like to watch two full movies before I go to work. No, Peter, they can't walk. It's three miles. <sighs> Fine, I'll take them. But you better keep those goggles, because I'm going to put them to good use tonight. <laughs> Once the floor is full of sawdust, we can eat peanuts in here. Correct, Quagmire. I'm going in for gender reassignment surgery. What the hell, Peter? First my dad, now you? Am, am I? Is it, am I doing this to people? Is it, do you guys feel like cutting off your penises? No, but I can turn it inside out like rolling up a dress sock. You guys aren't supporting my choice? Well, what do you expect, Peter? I, I mean, a sex change operation? Why are you doing this? I'll tell you why I'm doing all of this. For me. M-E. M-E. I'm doing it for M-E. <laughs> Ew! I mean, yay! Oh, hey, Chris. This is Tyler. Don't make this weird now. Oh, what a gentleman! <laughs> Chris, could you please get Hannah a thank you basket and schedule her next appointment? I'd like to see her again in two weeks. Of course. Mr. Quagmire can fit in you at 3 o'clock a week from Thursday. That works. And you know to fast the night before? Yep. And would you like to leave your panties in the fishbowl for a chance to win a free lunch? Good luck. When are you going to do that drawing anyway? Oh, there's no drawing. I just like smelling the bowl. Hey, where's Chris? He's over there, playing that carnival game. Step right up! Everybody take a chance on a whack a big a pussy Hey, Tone, hey, Tone, hey, Tone, hey, Tone, hey, Tone. This is not what I thought it was! Oh my god, Chris is out of control! I know! Must be all the violence in movies and sex on TV! Oh. See, I listen. <laughs> I'm actually very hungry. Nobody's gonna want you if you're fat! You want to eat? Get up to that bar and earn your keep.
Well, what should I ask for, 500? You're not worth that much, you're trash. Ask for two. You know I hit you and whore you out because I love you, right? Hi there, you want a party? And can I have some of your bread? Hi, handsome, you can't have my bread, but you can have something of mine that smells like bread. <gasps> Okay, let's go. Just so you know, it takes me a long time. Hi, are you a straight adult male who likes to eat crepes without people making unwanted assumptions about your private life? Go to discreetcrepe.com, place your order, and within 30 minutes... Very masculine pizza delivery for Stewie Griffin. Oh, thank you. Mmm, strawberry banana Nutella with raspberry drizzle. Now oh, I just need a guy's butt to eat this off of and I got myself a night. In any case, Lyle, I'm very proud of you and your progress. You, my friend, are the greatest invention since the Trapper Creeper. Mm. Um, yum, 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 yum. Look, Peter, I'm glad you're thinking about Chris's future, but he's fine. He's a perfectly normal kid. Are you crazy? Look at him! He's over there intentionally giving himself a nosebleed. <laughs> Yay! My nose is finally a woman! <laughs> wow, that was amazing. Hey, I, I, just to be clear, I don't really think you're a whore. I, I just need to say that to, you know, to finish. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. And obviously, I don't think you're my Uncle Dale. Good, good, same page. All right, left cankle, red. <laughs> right muffin top, blue. <laughs> Sorry. Ugh, God, kill me. There he is, Mr. Former Sex Offender. But Mom, it's not that big a deal. All I did was finish those creepy classes. I know, but now your record is clear. You can go back to being a normal boy and put all this behind you. Hey, Chris, wait till you see the funny thing I had him put on your cake. Happy sixth birthday, Timmy? Uh-oh, they must have mixed them up. Nice crank, you dirty little bastard. Sorry, I'll take that. Here's your cake. I ate a great deal of it. Peter, why'd you want me to get us into this prison? Because, Joe, everyone knows that all prisoners make bootleg wine in their toilet. We are gonna get so wasted. Oh, look, right here. This one's full of Chardonnay. Peter, I don't think that's... But it was Chardonnay. The best Chardonnay I'd ever had in my life. The man who made it, Curtis Murder Dog Williams, went on to become one of America's most celebrated vintners. Hey, Joe here. Peter's lying. He drank pee-pee. Hurry, take everything, and be quick, or we'll be in bigger trouble than a fat guy at a water park. Come on, Dad. Let's go on the water slide. <sighs> I can't fit. I'm afraid I'll get stuck. I'll just go in the lazy river. But, Dad... No, son. This is the life I've chosen. <laughs>